This is how to make realistic particles inside of Scratch. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna remove Scratchy. Okay, three sprites. One's gonna be a square. Right click duplicate. Next is gonna be a circle. Then you can just remove the square. Right click duplicate. Delete. Make a square. Now you're gonna hit this pointer thingy. Then you're gonna do this. Double click. And then you're gonna hold shift and drag around the middle. That's close enough. Then I'm also gonna have to do my secret little box trick. If you drag it like that, boom. Then it fixes a clipping issue up here. So if I do the same with this one and this one. Well, I don't really think this one really needs it, but you know, it's whatever. So now we can begin coding right before I name it to particles. There we go. So I'm gonna if I click go to zero zero, switch to before I do that, sorry, right click duplicate, make a blank and just call it blank. I switch the costume blank set size to 100 forever. If grab an or mouse down or space or anything you really want, typically. And I'm gonna make a block called clones, input clones, and run without screen refresh. Important. And I'm gonna drag this here, put this over here ish or something. And now I'm gonna set the clones to something like 15 is what I typically use. Now I'm going to grab the wait until not right click duplicate whatever input you have. And so now we can repeat clones and then create clone of myself and i'm going to when i start as a clone i'm going to make a variable for the sprite only ghost i'm gonna make a, another one x speed clone and one more y speed clone so now i'm just gonna hide all those and i'm gonna set ghost to pick random two to four go to mouse pointer and then switch costume pick random two to four so now as you can see this one's label number two three and four and so it's picking it from two to four so literally one two or three it's not gonna do blank because it's not one hope that makes sense i'm going to set ghost effect to ghost the size two to pick random 50 75 change color by right click duplicate 0 to 50 then i'm going to set x speed right click duplicate set y speed pick random 10 to negative 10 right click duplicate 15 0 and now i'm going to grab the repeat until touching edge and inside of that i'm going to do change x change y and point in direction so i'm going to change x by x speed clone and i'm going to change y by y speed clone and now i'm going to do times x speed duplicate y duplicate so now i'm going to point in the direction x speed clone times y speed clone and I'm simply going to change Y speed clone by negative 1. And I'm going to set X speed to times. So right click duplicate X speed is 0 0.99. And now I'm going to change ghost effect by times. Right click duplicate ghost and 1.05. And so now I'm going to delete this clone. And this is everything to create the particles. So now if I go up here, you can see that we have these particles just anywhere we go. But I'm going to tell you how the particles actually work though. So it's going to make a clone 15 times. So this is how many clones there is. I'll simply. It's gonna set the ghost to two to four so that is all depending on how fast it's gonna disappear so it's going to start at let's just say for example two and two times 1.05 until it touches the edge so it's just going a little bit faster than others and that's going to go to bounce pointer pretty simple and we already talked about the switch to costume it's gonna set ghost effect to ghost so it's just gonna actually like set the ghost to ghost up here that's gonna set the size to 50 to 75 percent pretty simple change color zero to 50 pretty simple here's the cool part set x speed clone to pick random 10 to negative 10 so it's either gonna go 10 pixels to the left and so on or to the right by negative 10 and so on and same with the y speed so if i change this to zero zero there is absolutely zero x speed i'm gonna change it back to 10 negative 10 and same with the y speed if i just put this to zero that means they're all just gonna not go up at all so i must change this back to like 15 i think yeah and now it's going to change x by x speed clone and change y by y speed clone so so let's say for example the x speed clone is 10 it's gonna change the x by 10 and same with the y and it's gonna point in the direction these two times each other just so we have a bit of realistic movement that's going to change y by negative one so it's gravity basically just falling so if i change it to like negative two it falls a lot faster but it less it looks less realistic and not as cool and now for the set xp clone to xp clone times 0 0.99 right now we set xp clone to let's just say an example 10 it's going to slightly decrease that number smoothly decreasing its x speed making it just smooth in a way and that's going to change the ghost effect by ghost times 0 0.05 essentially just making it increase a lot more smoothly and that's just going to delete this clone whenever it touches the edge so yeah, that makes a little bit of sense, but it's so you make realistic particles in Scratch. See you.